I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. I'd rather put rising flames on my Garuda, I think, rather than gouge. All right, we came here before and there was actually a chest around here. I wonder if the chest has respawned. This is something I've not checked before. No, it hasn't. Okay, so it looks like these uh, these chests are findable once and then after that it's chill. Okay, let's go in and see Mr. Abbott. Hello? Oh my god, she's just sleeping. And covered in ketchup. The Abbott. Oh, he's just having a nap. On some salsa. Oh. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. I was getting angry. Clive. He's breathing. What? Oh, that guy. Hello. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. The Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved. Unless Looking at your tips, Law. Save her. Okay. We've laid the abbot to rest. In the sky, Law, you mean? The bears. They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. Oh. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. Wait, is that what's in the bag? There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself. I'll do it. Um, I've got, I've got gouge, but I don't really like gouge. It looks gorgeous. The ability looks sick, but I don't really love it. I also don't love this. It's, it looks cool, but it's too slow. Pile drive is sick. You can insta cast that in the middle of a combo for like immediate burst, which is nice. Um. I might buy Rama's no mo new move when I get some more money, perhaps. What is this thing? What the fuck? Oh, this is a hunt! Oh, we've not encountered this yet, but maybe we can cash in on it for free. Oh, hell yeah! Notorious marks, every now and then Clive may encounter a larger, faster, more ferocious than most. A creature more ferocious than most. Defeating the marks can end him not only renowned, but also as rare materials used to craft. Oh, perfect. Do you think it's spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. It's a floating eyeball. Jesus Christ, Torgal. This is fucking crazy. Oh. Duh! Oh, I can't go on. Oh, it killed me! What? Uh... Amarango fucking tried to shell me there. I guess you can't dodge that. I don't know if that's consuming it or if it's killing it, but... Alright. Torius Mark slain. Cool. It's kind of gross that they have the one shot, but I guess Trial by Fire is also a fine learning curve, I guess. There was a huge window for dodging it, I just didn't anticipate that kind of level of damage.
So we'll need to respect the hunts a little bit more. That's fun, though. All right, we're scattering some remains in the river. As well as some of our pride. I think having both Heatwave and Rook is too counterplay. I like that part of the gameplay, though. That's, like, my favourite part, is landing those and getting um, rewarded for it. I could probably see myself getting rid of the, the Rook ability, but I'm, I'm not getting rid of Heatwave. I love that shit so much. I got so much value on it. No one survived then. Rip. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. No worries. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumours started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. But before I forget, a stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then okay. we must as well. We can stay longer if you wish. No need. All right, cool. That's fine. Quest complete. We're going back to the hideaway. So we came in Martha's Rest, went to the Abbey. Again, a bit of backtracking, a bit of reused locations. I think reused locations can be done quite well in video games, but this felt a bit kind of... Yeah, okay, the Abbey, sure. Whatever. What's going on over here? Oh, fuck. Hiya. What do you need? Are you handy with that sword of yours? I am. Of course you are. Now, question is... Are you willing to use it or not? Chocobos. You heard me right. And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. <laughs> it's true. Well, go on then. Go help them, sure. I could build up my limit break by finding some random creatures here if I want to, but unless there's lots of enemies in the fight, I don't think I actually get... Chocobos aren't going down without a fight. <laughs> just hundreds of dead people. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I don't think we had access to this location before. I think it was all walled off. Well, there he is. Bark. We got you cornered, feathers. Is this going to become a mount? Seen the last of us, did you? Is that what's happening here? You've been bad for business, but I reckon someone will pay good coin. I think we're going to get this as a mount or something, right? Is that wall. is that where this is headed? Not around here, they won't. Hi up. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still. How about Maybe it's a summon. You both? Maybe it's an icon. All right then. Fat chocobo. But don't say this fight is going to be piss compared to the one I just did, though. I'll just leave with this. Fuck it. It's probably just going to wipe out everyone, right? Like, I guess. These guys are level 24. Alright, Lawless, let's do it. And then we will dodge right after, right? Watch this. Just kidding. It didn't work. I lied. It was a good idea. I don't know. Fuck okay. Maybe you can't do it mid-gouge, actually. I wonder if that's a thing. Uh, that's something we're going to have to get on top of, because that's what I was doing before I was gouging until I could dodge. I feel like if you're, like, halfway through the final animation of gouge... Yeah, did not. Uh, you're right, Law. Yeah, almost wait the second bar. Maybe that's what you're I'll supposed to now. do. Hmm. White heart, I presume. Thanks, Mrs. Wolfie. Okay. We got plenty of time. Do you know her, boy? Work. Looks a bit fucking it's evil. It couldn't be. Gav. Oh, what? Wait a minute. What? No way is this thing still alive. Ambrosia.
What the heck? It is you. You survived. Didn't it get hit in the head by a giant brick? And you found yourself a flock. Got we family. Oh yeah. Made out with some of the the marsh chocobos. Thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> right. And the whole flock made it through unscathed. That is. You want to come with me? Hell, many. Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. <laughs> Stay right where you are. All right, he's gonna get a saddle. Let's be honest. Thank you, Chocobo Master. Beautiful. Hey. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? I'll call you when I need you. Call me when you want. Call me when you need. So, because we did the side quest for that guy earlier, and then he announced that, that's cool that he threw back to it and acknowledged it, but he should have doubled down by giving us an extra reward there. That's what a smart RPG would have done, a reward in RPG. It's like, hey, remember I did this before and it didn't really pay off? Well, now, as a consequence, later on in the game, I am getting reward. Boop, boop. Hey, bud. Good girl. When you ride alone, she'll keep up, motherfucker. Fly okay. Ambrosia. So I can gallop. I can rein in. That must be break, is it? Um, could have, been, could have been a little bit faster, I think. But not bad. Helpful, I guess. Better than nothing. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. Thanks to you. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. There you go. Like, games that do this well are games like Oblivion or Skyrim, where you can do the quest, but then if you do an extra bit of effort on the side, you get, like, an extra reward. And uh, you get, like, the perfect ending kind of type deal. So it always feels more rewarding. And, uh, again, at the end of the day, if you put it in for the player to choose, then the player can choose. Do I want to bother doing this? Do I not? And then if they do make an extra effort, they get extra... Extra bonuses. Anyways, I'm rambling. Ah, Clive! The one-eyed pirate. Miss that scowl. Where's my report? What? No kind words be ruled, pal. <laughs> Bro, she also has a mean kick. <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. Oh, here she comes. You guys are talking about how when you're on the you chocobo you don't get aggroed. The Empire That's good. To occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head. And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Oh. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Og. Oh, some more eco-terrorists. Blow up the reactors. Four Mother Crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Ironholm. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's fang will be left exposed. Up. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. Mm. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. 
There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him a start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. Going across <laughs> the sea. What are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> you guys are talking about the garden and then I can fast travel. <laughs> Otto's counter is now open. Alright, cool. Sweet, sweet. When you guys are talking about the garden, where is the garden? What do you mean? Is that down the bottom of the hideaway? The Alliance reports the patrons whisper the hunt board. All three are located in and near Otto's mess. That's fine. Alright, Kupo. Sure, can we cash in for our hunt that we did already? Get some freebies? Okay. <laughs> sure. What are we waiting for indeed? So what can I do here? Levin Bolt is a huge upgrade on the sword we have, which is currently a uh, flame tongue. It's uh, pretty much free, so... Not bad. No reason do not to myself. do that. Our last sword did look a bit skinny. This one also looks a bit skinny, but... This looks like some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh sword. Can't really explain that, but... We've upgraded our sword and did a little bit more damage now. This must be the garden you guys were talking about, is it? Okay. This is it here, right? Be long now, Martel. Far Mac High. See, I, I am, uh, was open to speak to you. Couldn't take them some, could you? Where are the curse breakers? It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. So here we go. Hunt board, yada yada yada. Notorious marks. That's fine. So how do we hand in the one that we killed? So we don't actually have to deliver it back. As soon as the monster dies, we are immediately rewarded. Is that correct? Uh, that's fine, I guess. What else have I got here that I need? Alliance reports and the patrons whisper. What the fuck is the patrons whisper? Why have you got a yellow marker? Desiree. Oh, Clive. The patrons whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no. That's still me. I still catalogue every item that arrives. <sighs> sure. Your what? benefactors are a generous lot. Please, Sight Quest will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the Twins to donate money to the cause. Okay, there you go. This is what you guys were talking about earlier. So, okay. um, That's all that done, though. That's fine. We could go and accept the other stuff, but let's just go to Hawk's Crycliff and see the next part of the story. And uh, push on a little bit, because we've done a lot of faffing today. Faffing that's important, but faffing nonetheless. want to fight somebody big and scary. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Where's your Shiva powers, Jill? That's what we need. We will face it together then. 
to the end. Wow. Bill is extremely committed. Come on. Jill the loyal. Hmm. The lines. Getting flamed for misunderstanding the renowned system. My How bad, guys. How do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Okay. Down the mountain we go, Jill. Straight into the body of the beast. And the belly of the beast. And whatever the fucking expression is. Uh oh. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her. That she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. It <laughs> would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. They're here for the, uh, mushrooms. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's... Hi, uh. What's going on here? Tell me. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Black shields. Just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking oh, for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. You couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? Why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. Agreed, Steve. Agreed. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I am it. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. <laughs> Stay down! Is this guy like oh he's the he's getting healed from this guy. Fuck it. Hmm. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> 
Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. They await you in Ordil. Guardians of the flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. But for the most part, yeah. I think this is going to be a boss fight. I hope it's going to be a boss fight. I'm looking forward to it. Got plenty of heals and stuff. Let's go in and see. We have to uh, wrap this up soon, though. Let's, uh... Yeah, we've got... 10 minutes or so to try and get through something big here, if there is anything big. Find something, boy. Death. Dude, how did the guy pull the short the short straw about getting hung up hung upside down? What did he do? Uh oh. Oh no, he's having a breakdown. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. Okay. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Okay, I think this is where we'll stop then, guys. We'll save it before we head in. We're going to uh, to the port of Isolde. Alright, guys, this is where we'll pause our recording. I don't know if this is going to be the end of an episode, but if it is, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. GG's.